when you first receive a colony. This is how it's supposed to look like. The first thing that you need to do is just let them be. Keep them in a dark place and let them develop their workers and um, the most important thing is every three to four days you make sure you hydrate this this is basically their hydration so you just wait for a month or two maybe more like two months about two months until they develop their workers once these guys start having workers then that is when you put them in a formicarium so if you got a formicarium from, from me this is how you're gonna use it if you got a full if you got a nest <clears throat> the nest should look like this that means you're missing an outworld and uh, I don't know what outworld you're gonna put this but once you put the ants in here they have two exits one on top and one at the bottom for them to forage but if you got my full setup this is how you're gonna set up the full setup so you just put it here and then within the full setup, you'll get a hydration tower. So the hydration tower contains small rocks that absorbs moisture. This will be, this is where they're gonna get their hydration. And this is, this will become their feeding dish. This is where you put, this is where you put the sugar water or the crickets. So that they can eat it and then drag it down to their colony so I'm gonna give you guys an example on how this will work so if you got just the nest for me this is how it's supposed to look like and the way this one will work is first you open the nest and you just basically remove this I can't do it because I only have one hand let me just remove it basically this is what you're gonna do you remove the lid and you gently pull this one because it might break if you forcefully take it what you're gonna do is you're gonna hydrate this hydrate it in water count like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten see once it's hydrated you put it here so you basically want the top one to be hydrated the middle and the bottom one you want it dry so it adds a different moisture gradients for the ants to go up and down depending on the moisture how, how much moisture they want it so once the top one is hydrated, it's ready to be used. So on here, I have a full, uh, I have a four queen setup with workers already emerging. As you can see. And 
we're gonna transport them in this warm area. Also, when you're handling the queens and the workers, you don't want to pinch them and pick them up. You just kind of want to guide them to the, where you want them to go because you could easily injure them, especially when the queens are full of eggs or they're full of nectar and food in their body. They can easily be injured. Fortunately, the queens right now they don't have a lot of fluids in their body right now. They just, as you can see, they just finished laying a lot of eggs and just taking care of that one. So, yeah, you just gently put them there one by one until the whole colony is transferred. I usually transfer the workers first, then the queen, then last are the larvae and eggs, so that it's easier to work on the larvae and eggs when there's not a lot of things that are moving. So I just slowly put them to the formicarium and once they're dropped down there, the workers will take care of the larvae and eggs while the queens get situated. This is how the colony should look at first once you finish putting all of them in the formicarium you just have to wait a few days until the queens get situated 
So the final product should look like this. The workers can forage from top or the bottom and they can hydrate themselves from inside, inside or outside of the nest and the formation. 